break our MOD yesterday. We got to carry this over to the next week. Let's talk about the contact that you have with Carson Wentz. Obviously, oh, your helmet. Yeah, well, obviously, your helmet hit his. Uh, caused him to go out to get. Can you just kind of go through that play and what you were thinking at the time? Uh, I was just rushing practice. It was a bang bang. I didn't. I didn't get a chance to turn nobody. You know what I mean? It's pretty obvious that Clowney has like a pattern of you know these things happening, man. Um, yeah, he's an aggressive player. You, you, you know, um, he's what you want from a physical standpoint in the defensive end. But look at this play right here, where he was fine for on Nick Foles last year. Um, he, he he doesn't believe in, you know, just taking a guy down. He has to always put something extra on it, man. And these are dirty plays, man. You just can't, you, you can't, you can't, you know, you, you can't even justify it, man. This is one last year, man. What I'm doing basically is I'm just pointing out a pattern of this guy not using proper technique when taking down quarterbacks, man. You know what I mean? I think he grabbed his whole face mask if this is the whole play, if this is the play that I'm, you know, Think about in its, its entirety, and, a, and no penalty flag was thrown on this play as well uh, on a two-point attempt. Um, I just don't understand, you know, the, the NFL for just being, you know, so inconsistent in choosing who they want to throw these penalties on. You know what I mean? You, you grab the guy's face mask to pull him down blatantly, blatantly. You know what I mean? And your hands all on the face mask. Yeah, most of the force wasn't there on the face mask, uh, but, you you know, it's it's there. You touch the face mask. Hands to the face. You just can't do that, man. And then on this next play with Carson Wentz, man, you know, a, a lot of people like to say things like, um, it's not a dirty hit. Well, listen, man, Carson Wentz was already touched down, as you can see at the beginning. Somebody touched him, and he's already going to the ground. There's no need to add anything extra to it. And he leads with the helmet. The helmet makes contact with Carson Wentz's helmet, and then Carson Wentz's head hits off the turf. That is a, a, that's a penalty. That's excessive force. There's no need to add anything extra on the end of this play. You can even see his teammate when he pans into uh, on the far uh, right side of the screen. He's a, he's ready to touch Carson Wentz down, not Clowney. Clowney is ready to throw his body on the back of the uh, the running back. Now I will say Carson Wentz absolutely could have slid in this situation but he was tripped contact was made with him he was down you know what i mean dirty play man dirty play Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lil Brunson back at you with the back at you. And I am the best reporting on the Eagles. Listen, man, in pure Eagles fan fashion, I'm still got still got my colors on, man. It's still fly, Eagles fly, man. You know what I mean? Um, let's talk about, you know, um, you, you know, we already went over the hit and all that stuff and what my thoughts on the hit earlier in the video. But let's talk about just just the overall recap of the season and some things that we overcame to to even be able to play yesterday. Um, you know what I mean? Um, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of stuff being said and a lot of stuff that I don't agree with. One thing people are trying to throw out there like, oh, Carson Wentz didn't finish another full season. Come on, that don't even make sense. If Carson Wentz didn't finish a season, neither did any team that didn't make the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? Carson Wentz played every re every regular season game this season. Carson Wentz finished the season, man. Come on, man. We can't even like, you know, we just can't even entertain. You 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 know, we can't even entertain what's being said by a lot of these people right now because it's just coming from a hater standpoint. You know what I mean? Nobody, no, nobody, nobody ever said anything bad about a quarterback that wasn't true as much as I'm hearing it about Carson Wentz. The guy got a concussion. The guy has no history of concussions. He's not concussion prone. Like being concussion prone and injury prone is two different things. Sean Lee always gets concussions. You see what I'm saying? Carson Wentz had a significant injury. He missed some of the season. A, a couple years ago, and that's just what it was. Carson Wentz played in like over 85% of every regular season game he was able to play in. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, you know, every every regular season game where he was, just, where he, since he's been with the Philadelphia Eagles, he's played in like 85% of the games. It's easy when you dumb it down and say, oh, well, he's only finished two out of the four seasons he played. He's only put, finished 50% of his seasons. Come on, man. That don't even make sense, man. Don't even make sense. You know what I mean? If Carson Wentz was hit, I mean, if if Mahomes, Watson, Brady, if any of those guys, man, Rodgers, if any of those guys was hit the way Carson Wentz was hit and knocked out of a playoff game, the, the nation would be in national mourning. You know what I'm saying? It would be it, 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 would, it would be a sadness in the air. Everybody would feel for the other quarterback. But for some reason, since it's Carson Wentz, he got to get this bad, you, you know, just this bad aura about it, man. The guy was knocked out of a football game. I'm not one of them guys saying he should have gutted out the performance. I don't believe in that. I'm actually, if, if, if it happened, I'm glad it actually happened. You know what I'm saying? Did I want the season to end yesterday against the Seahawks? No, I didn't. I'm glad, I'm, I'm, I'm not glad it happened. I'm glad that it happened when it happened. You know what I'm saying? Imagine if we pull this game out. 
Imagine if we pull this game out and then Carson Wentz and the Philadelphia Eagles banged up, limp in the Lambo, and go lose to the Packers. Oh, we should have kept in uh we should have kept in Josh McCown. You know what I'm saying? Or or he's we're rushing him to pass concussion protocol and he just don't make it. Now it happened. He got eight months to rest. He got into his training camp to rest. He, you know what I mean? He can get right, man. Con concussions are a serious thing. You know what I'm saying? I, you know what I'm, I wish Carson Wentz just, just, just all the health in the world during the offseason, man. Because Carson Wentz battled and put his body on the line all season. I feel like he was getting hit a lot late all season. But it is what it is. We're not going to cry over spilt milk. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Now, as far as the NFC East goes, we won that. We won that. I heard from a Redskins fan earlier. A Redskins fan told me that, you know, next year it won't be so easy for us. Cowboys fan told me the same thing. Oh, you won't win the division so easily next year. Tell me what was easy about having to win four games in a row. You know what I mean? When we lost to the Miami Dolphins, everybody except I think the New York Giants was in the, was in the race. How was it easy? The division wasn't easy for nobody, man. The Philadelphia Eagles dealt with the most key injuries out of anybody in the National Football League. Yet and still, we were able to win our division. What was easy about that for us? Oh, I guess since our coach didn't get fired, it was easy for us? No, no, that's not how football works. We dealt with challenges too, but we were strong enough to overcome those challenges because we're the only team in the division with a championship pedigree. It won't be easy for y'all. I think ne I think next year we win a division in a landslide. You know what I mean? People are pe pe people being happy that Carson Wentz is injured or, or, or got a concussion, you know, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. People are saying, well, hey, y'all did this when, when Michael Irvin, this is a Dallas Cowboy also said this to me, the Dallas Cowboy fan. Well, what about when y'all made fun of um, Troy, Troy Aikman getting injured? Dude, you talking about something that happened in the 90s? Are you serious? Are you serious, bruh? Are you serious comparing something that happened in the 90s to, to 2019 wild card to a game that ended yesterday? You guys have been that irrelevant that long. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and to the media who's just ready to jump on this, man, and say Carson Wentz is injury prone. I challenge you to do your research properly, man. He don't have a history with concussions. Who knows what this can, who knows what this might affect them later on down the line? He don't have, he don't have a history with concussions. He didn't re-injure his knee. Wasn't a shoulder. You know what I mean? Make it make sense. First concussion of the man's career. You acting like a bee flew into his helmet. No, it was a 290-pound man with a late hit helmet to helmet contact. Then it finished it off with the turf hit in his helmet. We can't, this is, there's no point in justifying it. It was a bad call. A flag should have been thrown on the field. He should have been fined. He should have been fined. People are the only people that are trying to say it wasn't, it was a bang bang play are Cowboys fans. Come on, man. You come on, man. If you got eyes, you know. If you watch football, you know, man. But at the end of the day, man, injuries plague the season anyway. We got you listen. Listen, the reason why we didn't win the division and, and probably get a buy in dramatic fashion is because of injury. You know what I'm saying? But one thing that I can say I'm proud of is that we held true to form. This is the new norm, us going to the playoffs. Next season will be a fourth straight year we're into the playoffs. And I fully expect us to get a buy next season. You know what I mean? The Philadelphia Eagles um got some decisions to make. Um, you, you know what I'm saying? Um, some players need to be parted ways with, uh, possibly rather soon than later. Um, some guys like we can start throwing these names out now simply because we, um, uh, oh, just came, just came across the Cowboys hired Mike McCarthy. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Just come across. They hired Mike McCarthy. So, you know what I mean? Um, you, you, you know, you know, I don't think they're going to be any much better based upon that, but they hired Mike McCarthy. He walks into a situation to where he couldn't even, he couldn't even handle Aaron Rodgers. So uh, what makes them think that he's going to be able to handle all the pressures of being a Dallas Cowboys head coach, but that's neither here nor there. At the end of the day, the Philadelphia Eagles, um, we got a lot to look forward to. Um, we're moving in the right direction. I think that, you know, um, you, you know, this kind of scares me because we did have some young talent emerge. So I don't know if they're going to be as quick to really draft a wide receiver because I feel like they believe in Greg Ward. But you probably got to let Alshon go. So you do need to draft somebody. Deshaun is 100 percent now. Unfortunately, we didn't uh, win this game and move on to get a couple guys back. Um, you got some questions that need to be answered. Um, what are you going to do with Sidney Jones? Um, Ronald Darby, I, I, I suspect he won't be back. I suspect that... Um, Nelson Aguilar won't be back. Uh, you you got to do something about the linebacker position. Uh, what are you going to do with Malcolm Jenkins? Uh, Zach Ertz deserves an extension. Um, you you know, um, what are you going to do? You know what I'm saying? What are you going to do about Jordan Howard, who was banged up? You know what I mean? We leaned on him heavily in the season when we were trying to find our identity. 
you know, just 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 a lot has to um, be answered in the off season. But we're moving in the right direction. That's always positive. We're not one of these teams that had to fire our coach. We didn't do none of that stuff like that. And for the Dallas Cowboys and um, the New York Giants and the Washington Redskins, um, the the NFC was only the NFC least because of y'all. Let's be real. We had a winning record. We finished with a winning record and we won our division. We didn't win. We didn't win our division like seven, eight, and one like the uh, the Panthers. I'm uh, not the Panthers. Like the Seahawks did that year. You know what I mean? We didn't win our division like that. We didn't. We didn't get a sympathy win. We won a division at nine and seven. A lot of people win their division at nine and seven. At the end of the day, you can't take away from us. You know, everybody's happy. To, listen, I'd rather be a one and done than a none and none, man. I said it many times before, man. People want to take their shots at, uh, at us for being bounced out of the first round, but didn't even make the playoffs. I will never be able to comprehend that. I just will never be able to comprehend that. You know, you can't be mad. You, you know, y'all on the couch with us now. What type of loser mentality is that? I understand the Dallas Cowboys haven't done anything worthwhile in 25 years. I understand the Washington Redskins ain't done anything worthwhile even longer than that, probably. You know, I understand the New York Giants are going through a rebuild phase. Uh, the New York Giants are the only team in this, you know, in this new millennium to win something with, along with the Philadelphia Eagles out of the NFC East. Um, every, 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 everybody in our division had their fair chance at ending our season and, and switching things up, but they couldn't get it done. They couldn't get it done. We're clearly the better coach team. You know what I'm saying? Now the Dallas Cowboys are going to start thinking they're going to the Super Bowl because they got Mike McCarthy. We know the Dallas Cowboys are going to the same place that they went this year. Nowhere. You know what I mean? I can I, I can guarantee it. And for you and you and you know, at the end of the day, you know, um the play the playoffs are over. Uh, not over. The season is over for the Philadelphia Eagles, finally. And we finally get to rest, man, and get healthy, man. I'm excited for us to rest and get healthy and come back to training camp strong. We don't need a coach. We don't need a quarterback. We just need a few pieces, man. We're a few pieces away from being a true contender. And we just, we just, we're not even a few pieces. We're, we're, we're health. We're health away from being a true contender. I like how my defense played only giving 17 points up. I think the defense can be elite when it's time to turn it on, but I need that same defense to play with that same intensity during the regular season. So I don't know if something needs to change with, um, with uh, Schwartz there. Um, they're saying Mike Grow is a potential candidate for a couple of jobs elsewhere. You know what I mean? Uh, maybe some coaching vacancies open up and we can get some fresh blood in. But the Philadelphia Eagles um, had a successful season, another winning season, another playoff appearance, three straight for us. We have really nothing to be worried about. Being as though we show we, we saw grit and heart out of our quarterback. You know what I mean? And to the guys who saying he should have been able to come back, he's this, he's that, man. I don't think a lot of you guys ever had a concussion. You know what I mean? I don't think a lot of you guys know what it takes to pass concussion protocol. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, the Philadelphia Eagles did their due diligence um, by giving us some January football. And you just cannot say that about everybody else, man. Let me know what you think in the comments. Official video coming later. Shout out for Carson Wentz, man. For, you know, after the game, I'm hearing that he went up to his teammates and basically, you know, basically said, um, thank you for all your efforts. Um, I'm hearing that he w went up to a couple guys and apologized. Um, just from me to you, Carson, man, you got nothing to apologize for. You didn't blow any game. You didn't do anything wrong. It was a play that you didn't even see coming. You didn't even see the hit behind you, which is why you dove because you were looking in front of you. And this guy came behind and added something extra onto the hit. Um, you got nothing to apologize for. This is, we, we, you, you, you know, you know, I don't even feel like we babying you or coddling you or nothing. You just simply got nothing to apologize for, man. It was a good season, man. Next year, we're going to go get him.